share with me how they wrote four fifths in unit fractions? Uh, Malia. to be doing 8-1 and it, we will be using unit fractions for it so that will help you go ahead and come to that. At a pizza party each pizza was cut into six equal slices. At the end of the party there was five six of a pizza left. Roberta put each of the leftover slices in its own freezer bag. How many bags did she use? What part of the pizza did she put into each bag? All right, so let's pick apart our question. It says, how many slices of pizza were eaten, first of all? Look at the, look at the um, problem and figure out how many slices were actually eaten. How many slices were eaten? One. One slice. What fraction of the pizza is one slice? Everybody. One six. One six. And what is the other word we use for that? A unit fraction. We just did that review on the board. So, it says write 5 6 as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. What does the product, when it says as the product, what are they asking us to do? Raise a quiet hand if you can tell me. What are they asking us to do when they're saying write it as a product? What are they asking us to do, Owen? We're asked to multiply because the product is the answer of a multiplication problem. The picture shows five, six, or how many six-size pizzas? How many sixth-size pieces do we see here? Count them and raise your hand. It's just a matter of counting them because you can see them right there. How many? Six. No, there's five. not six. Five. There's five. And each piece is what unit fraction? One six. Okay. So, you can use the unit fractions to show the 5, 6, like 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6. Now, if I saw this 1, 6 plus 1, 6, all this, I could just add the numerators, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know it's 5 over 6. I can just do adding. But something else that we've learned a long time ago, when you have the same number many times, you can multiply as well, right? If I had this number, if I said 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, obviously I'm not working with this, but if I had this, I could do 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 6 is 24. So I can add all those, correct? But I can also do, oh, they're all 6s, 1, 2, 3, 4. I could do 4 times 6. Does that also work? Yes. So we're going to start doing that with fractions. Okay, if I have 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6, how many 1, 6 do I have? Five. 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 So I can do 5 times 1, 6. And what did 5 times 1, 6 equal? Five, it equaled 5, five six. 6. The number of add-ins or the multiplier represents the number of bags used. So we used 5 bags. And each bag got one-sixth of the pizza. Remember the question was, she has one piece of pizza in each bag. How many bags would she need? There was five pieces of pizza, so she's going to need five bags. So it says, so Roberta used five bags. She put how much of a pizza in each bag? One-sixth one of a pizza in each bag. Look at the explain. It says, how can you write three halves as the product of a whole number in a unit fraction? So if you look at this again, what are the unit fractions in three halves? What would my unit fraction be? What do you think, um, Preston? One half. One half is a unit fraction, right? And how many am I going to add, class? Three. Three of them, right? One half plus one half plus one half. I want you guys to look. Does one half plus one half plus one half equal three halves? Yes. Yes, it does. So now how can I write this as a multiplication problem? 
what was the whole number I'm going to multiply by, class? Three, three times what? One half. one half. One half. And three times one half equaled what fraction? Three halves. The product of a number and a counting number is a multiple of the number. When they say a counting number, they see, they mean one, two, three, four. They mean whole numbers in order of counting. Okay, so when they say a counting number, they mean starting with one and counting each whole number, one, two. So in this case, you're starting with one and you're multiplying by, by one fourth, and then the next time you're going to do two times it, and then you're going to do three times it, and then you're going to do four. So let's look back again what it says. The product of a number and a counting number is a multiple of the number. You have learned about multiples of whole numbers before. So if we did 1 times 4, that's a times. That's what? What's 1 times 4? Four? 4. What's 2 times 4? 8. What's 3 times 4? 12. What's 4 times 4? 16. These are all multiples of, of 4. So we did, it said, when it's saying the product of a number, in this case we used 4, and the counting number gives you the multiples. So the counting number here was we did it four times one. Here we did four times two. Here we did four times three. Here we did four times four. These were the counting numbers. This was the number we were multiplying by. And it gave us the multiples. That's not really a new concept for you guys. I'm just reminding you how multiples work. We can do the same thing with fractions. And that's what we're going to do right now. You can find the multiples of unit fraction. So our unit fraction in this case we're going to use is fourth. One times one fourth is just saying we have one fourth one time. What is one fourth one time? One fourth. One fourth. One fourth. It's just simply one fourth. If I say you have one fourth of a pizza, he has one fourth of a pizza. How much pizza is there? One fourth. One fourth. Of a pizza. What if Shane and Lydia have one fourth of a pizza? Now we have two, two, two times. Four. One fourth, which equals two fourths. two fourths, and they show you right here how that looks. So two times one fourth equals two fourths, right here. So two fourths is the next multiple. We have one fourth. I'm going to put. Let me zoom out a little. I don't want you guys writing yet. So we have one fourth, and now we have two fourths. Now if we multiply it by three, so Shane. Lydia and Avni all have a fourth of a pizza. We have three times one fourth. What is our answer? What is our product? Three fourths. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth. That's three fourths. So our next multiple is three fourths. What if now Tara has one? We have four times the one fourth pizza. How many fourths do we have now? Four fourths, which is also a one whole. One whole. Okay. What if now Jaden got a piece? Holy smokes! I'm gonna shade this in so that every bit we show everybody having a piece. Piece. How many did I shade? Five. Five. What's my unit fraction? One fourth. One fourth. So five times one fourth is five fourths. five fourths. So my next multiple is five fourths. Can anybody tell me just based on the pattern what is my next one going to be? Six fourths. Six fourths. Then if I have a number line that's broken into fractions, I have the zero and the one. I have you can see that there's ta um, marks in between. If I look at this number line, to figure out what fraction it's split into, I need to count the spaces in between. So here's one, two, three, four, five. There's five spaces. So what fraction am I working with? One-fifth. One-fifth, right? So I'm working with fifths. This section has been divided into fifths. So I can start at zero and make one jump, and I end up on one-fifth. If I do another one, I'm ending up on what? 
two fifths. What's my next one? Three fifths. And my next one? Four fifths. And then five fifths, five fifths which is also one, one whole. whole. Okay. So on my in my little blue boxes here, it says one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. Five fifths. So the multiples of one fifth are one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. You guys are catching this, right? Four fifths and five fifths. Go ahead and fill that in. I didn't fill these two in because I ran out of room. It says use the picture to complete the equations. Three fourths. We have them right here in yellow. If I wrote them as a unit fraction addition, what would I be writing in my one fourth. as my unit fractions? One fourth. Right. So all these. Go ahead and write them with me. One fourth. There's three of them. So three-fourths equals what times one-fourth? Three. three. There's one, two, three of them. On number two, it's saying write the fraction as a product of the whole number in unit fraction. How many of you are just kind of scared by that? If you just saw that, you're kind of scared. I am, honestly. I have to really think about it. Okay? While we're doing this, you know what they're asking you, don't they? Yes. Don't you? They want you to do this. They want you to do a product, so an answer of a multiplication problem, so I know I need to be doing multiplication, of a whole number, I know what a whole number is, right? And a fraction, a unit fraction. A unit fraction means it's going to be what for my numerator? One. One, and then whatever the denominator is. So this isn't as scary as it sounds if you break it apart, apart, break it apart by its pieces. A product, I know that's multiplication, Whole number, I know what a whole number is. And a unit fraction, I know what a unit fraction is. So I need to take my fraction. Is this a unit fraction? Yes. yes. No. no. No, it is not a unit fraction. What is the unit fraction I would work with on this one? One fifth. One fifth. So I'm going to put one fifth over here. I know I'm multiplying because it said it's a product. So this is a product. It was the unit fraction. What part am I missing from my directions? I have my product. I have my unit fraction. I'm missing the what? Whole. whole number. Any ideas what my whole number might be right here? Four. Four. Can somebody explain why my whole number would be four? Brian, why don't you explain for us? I need to multiply it by four. How do I know that four is a number I'm going to multiply by? Bella. The numerator is 4, and the numerator tells me that I'm going to have 4 unit fractions, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, so I know that this is 4 times 1 fifth. So what is my whole number? 3. Times what's my unit fraction? 1 -10. Perfect. We're going to skip this one. Even though my numerator is larger than my denominator, it doesn't matter. It still works the same way. But I want you to look one more time at these directions down here. It says list the next four multiples. So this is just writing, now if I multiplied one six times two, I would end up with two six. Two six. And what's my next multiple? Three, six. So you guys are understanding how to do this? Yes. And five six. Yes. 